Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about centrifugal casting process with detailed study on to on centrifusing casting process. So let us start with the basics about centrifugal casting process. So this is a basic setup for centrifusing casting process. So just you can see this is our rotating shaft onto its vertical axis. So this rotating shaft and that is our mold. So this mold that will be also rotated and just you can see this is our ladle and with the help of this ladle pouring of the molten form of the metal onto the top of the side. So due to that centrifugal force this molten form of the metals which will be entering into the mold and that will be the producing of the non-symmetrical kind of jobs with the help of centrifugal force that's why it will be known as a centrifugal casting process so let us start with the basics about centrifugal castings so centrifugal casting is a process in which the molten metal is poured and allowed to solidify it into a revolving mold the centrifugal force due to the revolving molds holds the molten metal against the mold until it's solidified so pouring of the molten form of the metal as well as total solidification process it will be into the mold cavity the material used for making the molds may be cast iron steels sands or graphites basically for a non ferrous kind of castings so the process is used for making castings of non symmetrical castings with the help of centrifusing casting process if you want to make a symmetric and hollow cylindrical castings so you should follow true centrifugal casting process if you want to make a symmetrical than solid casting so you should follow semi centrifugal casting process but if you want to make a component like non symmetrical castings so you have to follow a centrifusing casting process so that all are the various process let us see first that will be the true centrifugal casting process second one semi centrifugal casting process and this is our last one and that will be centrifusing casting process so in this video i only focusing on to the centrifusing casting process if you want to learn about true centrifugal castings as well as the semi centrifugal castings so you will find a link on my i button so let us start with the centrifuge castings so this is our basic setups that we already discussing this is our rotating shaft and it will be connected with the mold so this whole the assembly that will be also rotated onto its vertical axis so in true and semi centrifugal process the axis of the mold or you can say cavity that will be coincide with the axis of the rotations but in case of the centrifusing process the axis of the mold cavity does not coincide with the axis of the rotations so that will be the basic difference between all three processes but in all three processing we are using centrifugal force for producing the casting products so the mold is designed with the part cavities located away from its axis of the rotations hence this process is suitable for non symmetrical kind of castings so the selection of the centrifugal casting process that will be depends upon my shape and size of the job so that is the our figure it will be there then various steps that will be involving into the centrifuging casting process so just you can see this is our shaft and onto that shaft it will be our traditional approach for castings that will be cop drag and onto that parting line it will be our cast if you want to make a hollow shapes into that castings so you should use a core materials and this is our central sprue so all the molten form of the metals that will be pouring onto the top of the side so that will be pouring and with the help of centrifugal force that will be inside of the mold cavity so this is our side view of that particular centrifuging casting process so just you can see this shaft it will be rotating so by this shaft rotation 
this mold that will be also rotating so just you can see onto the top of the side this is our cast products and these all gets and onto the top of the side as you can see the molten form of the metal is to be proved so that will be our central sprue so if you want to make a non symmetrical kind of jobs with the help of this process so let us see several molds cavity are arranged in a circle and connected to the central down sprue through the gets so that is the basic arrangement of central fusing casting process the axis of the down sprue is common to the all axis of the rotation of the mold as the mold is rotated the liquid metal is poured down and the sprue which fits the mold metal into the mold cavity under the centrifugal force the rotational speed depends on to the number of factors such as molding mediums or you can say sand mold metallic mold or you can say ceramic then second size of the castings that will be also dependable parameters types of metal being poured so selection of the materials and distance of the cavity from center axis or you can say this sprue axis so these all are the dependable number of factors for making the centrifugal casting components centrifuging is done only about a vertical axis so there is no possibilities with a horizontal axis so in case of the centrifugal casting process with a semi centrifugal and into a centrifuging casting process is always followed a vertical axis but if you work with a true centrifugal casting process so there is a possibility of the horizontal axis so some of the advantages centrifugal castings eliminates the mid wall thickness centrifugal castings control the impurities centrifugal castings greatly reduce the micro porosity then some of the disadvantages length to diameter ratio and the cost so in that centrifugal castings cost is always increasing shape and mold die cost that will be also increasing small inside diameter safety and to the cost good foundry practice required so skill operator is also required i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching